Traders, we are excited to announce our new brokerage partner, Blueberry Markets. They are willing to give you money to trade with them. As part of this partnership, you, the trader, are going to receive a full refund of your Simply Forex Discord fee. So, how will it work? Well, they're going to give you, the trader, $300 when you open an account with Blueberry Markets. More than 30,000 traders already trust Blueberry Markets and they are highly rated on Trustpilot and Google. You can also benefit from excellent commissions and super tight spreads. Some spreads are zero. And you can also benefit from a dedicated customer support team that you can contact 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if that's not enough, guys, you can also benefit from our rebate program that we're offering. So Simply Forex and Blueberry Markets have teamed up to offer you this excellent promotion. And if you would like to take advantage of it, guys, then find the link in the video description. Traders, hope you're well. Today is Thursday the 9th of March and as always we're going to look back at yesterday's trades, we're going to look at today's potential trades and we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Um, so let's look back at yesterday's trades first of all. Before I do, um, join our Discord channel. Yeah, join our Discord channel, guys. The link is in the video description. We've also got a VIP Discord now uh, where you can have access to me, ask me anything you like, and we give you our trade ideas um, every day. So, yeah, come join that. Secondly, guys, don't forget the live stream. Thank you to everyone who turned up yesterday. Always enjoy it. Thanks for all your questions. I'll see you next Wednesday, 6.30 a.m. London GMT. And thirdly, guys, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email and we'll send you all the details. All the information for all of these things are in the video description. Just one more thing to mention, guys. We also have an educational challenge. We've partnered with a, uh, a company where you'll have an educational challenge and you can earn while you learn. So cannot wait to introduce this. Yeah, we're just finalizing everything, but exciting. Um, right, guys, so trades from yesterday. First one was this. Remember, we were seeing a bit of pound weakness, right? So... Um, the first one was this, pound Canadian dollar. This is the day chart. And basically what we're seeing here is an ascending triangle, yeah? If we did this and this, you know, it's just right, you know, basically this triangle, it would, should sort of behave like this. And then we get a break to the upside or we get a break to the downside. The downside is more common with a descending triangle. That's what we're seeing. If I zoom in, so that's more of a longer time frame view. Um, but what was I seeing, guys? We had this huge bearish candle, all right? And we were coming off the top of that downward channel, that downward triangle. So for these reasons, the idea was just to short this back down to these lows or even these lows. So that was the idea. I was also seeing a head and shoulders, yeah? Seeing them everywhere. Yeah, shoulder, head, head, shoulder, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Um, so, yeah, we're seeing that pattern as well. So there was lots of reasons to look for shorts, guys. We dropped down to the H1. Yeah, did we have a trade? So the answer is no. So we had our grey zone mapped out. This was our grey zone. This is where we wanted to see price react. Okay. Um so we we couldn't, you know, there was this candle, but we couldn't have traded it because literally an hour later we had the CAD interest rate decision. So we had to wait for that anyway. And then we had the decision. We had a bullish candle. We did have this candle, yeah, in our grey zone. But all you all you need to do, guys, is look at the candle before it. Look at the green candle before it. Yeah. Do you think this candle tells you that sellers have taken control? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Because the green candle before it is so bullish. And we've got this bottom wick. So that was never a candle to enter on. And then it was just sort of upward momentum for the rest of the day. So we never got a, a chance to get in this pair. And because of, you know, the news coming out as well. 
Um, the second one was pound Swiss franc. Like I say, guys, we were we were looking for pound weakness, and this would have been a good trade, but again, just didn't quite hit our grey zone. So let's start with the day chart. Yeah, so you know we was in an uptrend, but price has come storming down. All right, uh, we have bearish, bearish. And the idea was just to follow this bearish momentum back down to these last lows here. All right, so these last lows. That was the idea. And as you can see yesterday, um, we also got a bit of a rejection candle. So if you are in this trade, there's no reason why it shouldn't keep coming down. Um, so we'll look at this today as well. Um, let's drop down to the H1 so we can see what happened. And like I say, guys, this this was my grey zone. I wanted price to retrace into here somewhere, but it didn't, all right? So for that reason, I didn't have a trade. However, you know, there were some nice entry candles. Yeah, this is a nice entry candle. Because why is it a nice entry candle? Because we've just got this, you know, we had a bearish candle, bullish candle. Then we had bearish bullish but you can just see buyers are slowing down here yeah we get a bit of a a green doji candle and then bang we have a large red bearish candle yeah so you know if you were trading the first bearish candle that told us sellers were in control this candle would be it so maybe some of you guys got in on this candle Tell me about your trades. Come on the Discord channel. Tell us about your trades, your trade ideas, guys. Yeah, we'd love to have you. But for me, guys, I was waiting for price to retrace up here. Didn't happen. Um, but the trade I did take yesterday was this. It was pound against the Japanese yen. And it was a nice setup. So on the day chart, yeah, remember this grey zone up here was a important weekly gray zone, all right? And we've been having lots of selling pressure at this level. Yes, yeah, sellers, sellers, and then more sellers. Yes, yeah, sellers are taking control, all right? So the idea was just to come from our gray zone back down to this blue line, which is these last lows, and that is exactly what happened. Um, let's drop down to the H1 chart um, to see how we traded it all right so yeah it was as simple as this guys yeah price got up to our gray zone if i zoom out some more you can see how nice this gray zone is yeah because look at this gray zone look at look at where price reacted many many times in this gray zone sure enough price reacted again all right so that was the trade idea um and then price come up into our gray zone this this candle Seller's not in control. Again, look at the candle before it. Yeah, seller's not in control. This candle, seller's in control. Yeah. So I actually waited for a retrace on the M15 chart. Yeah, and got in around here. Okay, so I got in around here. I put my stop above here. And then I took price back down to these last lows. Okay. Also let the last 20% run down to here where I closed all of the trade. All right, so yeah, we had a nice trade here. We've got a risk to reward of, you know, almost two is to one. I closed 80% and then took the rest of the trade down to here and then closed the remaining 20%. It was a nice trade, guys. Not gonna lie, this candle did, you know, did, did worry me, but then as you can see this, this, I had a lot of faith in this gray zone. Yeah, it was a very nice area. So we did get some bullish uh, price back up, but then sellers, yeah, just took it down. All right, so yeah, nice trade on pound yen. I put this in the VI, uh, VIP Discord trade alerts, guys. So hopefully some of you took this trade and made some profits. And the last trade from yesterday was this. It was US dollar, Canadian dollar, but again, didn't get a setup, guys. So on the day chart, yeah, we were just trying to follow the break of these highs here, had a bullish candle, and we were just trying to follow this momentum upwards, okay? 
you know, and zooming in, it did. It, it, you know, it carried on this upward momentum. Yeah, hit our first target. But the problem is, if we go down to the H1, guys, it just never gave us an entry, really. Um, you know, I was looking for more of a retrace. Therefore, we just get better value. And then we could have took it up here. To be honest with you guys, I was looking at this level. There was a level through here. Yeah, the price that was this this here was arguably the last, you know, swing H1 low, you know, and we did get a push off there. But again, this was more news for the Canadian dollar. All right. So. Um, so, guys, yeah, no trade on that. But um, but yeah, we did have one winning trade yesterday. I hope you took it, guys. Um, let's take a look at today's trades now. <music> Guys, if you enjoyed the recap, maybe you took the pound yen trade, then come join us. Yes, yeah? subscribe to the channel, uh, smash the notification button and smash the like button. We'd love to have you. Welcome to the channel. Bonjour. Hola. Hello. Um, right. Trade ideas for Thursday, the 9th of March, guys. Uh, before we do, I just mention a few things. So first of all, come join our Discord channel. We also have a VIP Discord channel where you have access to me. And we'll give you our trade alerts as and when they happen. Secondly, guys, don't forget the live stream every Wednesday, 6.30 a.m., London GMT. Thank you to everyone turned up yesterday. Enjoyed your questions. Um, thirdly, guys, if you would like to be mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email and we'll send you the details. And there's also something else I'm very excited about, guys. We have this educational challenge. We've partnered with a company where... You basically earn while you learn. Yeah, it's a great little scheme. Can't wait to share it with you. Um, stay tuned. We will share it with you soon, guys. Um, right, let's carry on. Let's look at the trade ideas for Thursday, the 9th of March. So, guys, they just... I just want to reiterate this, how tricky the markets are at the moment. Yeah, you think you're in a downtrend and then bang, you get a whipsaw up or you think you're in an uptrend and things are going great and then price whipsaws down. Very tricky markets, lots of indecision. Yeah, it's reflected in the indices. Uh, you know, it's just, yeah, it's tricky out there at the moment. So trade with caution. Um, but you, you'll have spells like this throughout the year, guys. You'll find your, your system, you know, works wonderfully for months on end. And then there'll be a month where markets are like this. And, you know, for me, I'm, I'm really a trend trader, you know, trend, retrace, enter. Um, so, yeah, there'll be some, um, you know, parts of the year where, you know, it's difficult. But that's trading. Let's carry on. Um, right. So. I'm saying that, guys, it's difficult to find a few trades today, but here's a few things that I am looking at. So the first one is US dollar, Japanese yen, because I just really like the level it's at. So this grey zone, yeah, even if I pull it back to here, yeah, has been a, you know, an important area, and now it's in this grey zone currently. All right, don't worry, I will zoom back in so you can see what the hell is going on. But yeah, uh, you know, that is an important area. If I zoom back in now, yeah, this high has literally just touched all of these highs and these lows, all right? So this is what I'm seeing. It's a really nice level. And, you know, judging by this doji, you know, perhaps buyers have slowed down a bit at this level. All right, so I'm potentially looking for short back to the back to one of these blue lines back to one of my targets here okay because we're at an important level yeah and we've had a doji yeah i would like a more aggressive candle admittedly but what we are going to do is wait for structure to break down um if we drop down to the h1 chart now if let's start with the h4 so these are the things you know there's a lot of so if we if I was trading the H4, yeah, potentially, you know, we're going to get a move back to the upside. So it could react here because there's still a lot of buyers sitting in here. Yeah, you can see that by the wicks. Okay. So it could come all the way back up to here. 
and we get a reaction and then we could take it lower. So it could test the last highs. However, on the H1 chart, it has started to break down. Yeah, for me, we now have lower highs. Yeah, we've got lower highs. All right, so we don't have a lower low yet, but we do have lower highs. So for me, this gray zone is a potential area we can start looking for shorts from or these last highs, guys. Okay, both are tradable. Yeah, both are reasonable to trade from. So what do I want to see? As you know, guys, my usual subscribers, we want to see price retrace into this gray zone. We want to see a bearish reaction. When I say bearish reaction, it could be a bearish candlestick pattern. It could just be a candle that tells me sellers are in control. And I usually combine this with an M15 structure breakdown as well. So that's what I'm looking for. It could be a very strong H4 candle. Yeah, bearish H4 candle. But I want to see one of those things happen. And then in, in this gray zone, if we get that, I think we can take price back down to these lows. OK, I would close 80 percent here because that's how I roll. And then I would leave 20 percent to run. All right. So that's the first idea. But like I said, because of those H4 candles, price could retrace all the way back up to these highs. And I just want to see exactly the same. And then we can take price back down. All right, guys, So US dollar, Japanese yen. That's the first idea. The second idea is this, US dollar against the Swiss franc. Um, so, yes, yeah, sorry, guys, there's lots of grey zone here. It's because I have a big daily grey zone running through here. Okay, so again, similar scenario with the US dollar yen. And obviously, you know, these two are going to be highly correlated. So trade the one that gives you the best setup. But again, we've got this grey zone. And it's historically been a very good grey zone. And price is currently in this grey zone as we speak. All right. If we zoom back in. For me, we had a, a little bit of a breakdown here. Yeah. Once we started breaking this level. Yeah. For me, we had a little bit of a breakdown in structure. We started to have lower lows. All right, then we had this big bullish green candle, but we know that was news driven. That was uh, Fed Chair Powell testifying. All right, and then price again, if we zoom in so you can see this, price has come back up and it hasn't broken these highs. Yeah, it hasn't broken them. Instead, we've got a negative doji candle. So for those reasons, yeah, we've got lower lows. We're at the last highs bearish doji candle i think we can take price potentially down to this blue line or even this blue line all right so that's what the idea is if we drop down to the h1 chart now what are we seeing so yeah let's do this okay so so guys these are my i just wanted to zoom out so you could see the end of these candle uh these boxes these gray zones so let me bring this back in so you can see it a bit more clearly and bring these don't need to be this large i get carried away guys in the mornings with my gray zones i'm like Shh, and just let it go um right so Guys, as I always tell everyone, look at your daily and weekly to get an idea of if you can short a pair, buy a pair, or stay the hell out. Yeah, that's really the job of the higher time frame. And then we come down to the lower time frame to find areas and our criteria to enter a trade. All right, so this is what I'm doing now. We're on the H1. There's a few scenarios could happen. So for me, we have already seen a breakdown in H1 structure. Yeah, didn't make higher highs. And now we've got lower lows. Yeah, and we're in a downtrend as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so we like that. So the last high was this, this area through here. What was once support has become resistance. Yeah, how many times do we see that, guys? I love, love, love this pattern. All right, more than Gal Gadot. I haven't mentioned Gal Gadot, aka Wonder Woman, for weeks. She's been ignoring me. 
So, um, what do I want to see? I want to see price react in this level. I want to see a bearish reaction. Yeah. And then we could take price back down to here. Yeah. I would close 80% and then leave 20% to run. It could even come back up to these highs. Yeah. But you've got to bear in mind if it does, we need a huge wick because we don't want to break this gray zone. If we break this gray zone, for me, we've had a change in H1 structure. Okay. So, yeah, this gray zone is important. So like I say, reaction in here, bearish reaction, take it lower. Or, yeah, if, we, if, if we're a bit late to the party and price just comes down, yeah, test this level, perhaps does this for a little bit and then breaks it, yeah, then we also have a trade. Breaks, get a bit of a retest, and then take this lower, back down to this blue line. All right, close 80% and then leave 20% to run down to this blue line. All right, guys, so we can we just want to follow that H1 structure down, all right, on US dollar Swiss franc. Um, so that's the second trade idea for today. Let me show you these blue lines and why I've plotted them. So these blue lines are my targets, okay? So this here is a, t is a target, yeah, because price has reacted many times in this gray zone, yeah? It's reacted many times. So this makes sense that price could bounce off of this level again. So I don't want it to bounce off this level if I'm short. So I would just close some profit at that level. And then if it, for example, guys, yeah, I close, price comes down, I close 80%. Okay, yeah, that's what I usually, well, that's what I always do pretty much, okay? Depends on how the candles are going. And then price comes back up to here. Yeah, we could we could enter the remaining. You yeah, remember I've closed 80% here. When it comes back up to here, add that 80% back. You've already made some nice profit. Put the 80% back in and take it down again. Yeah, that's about managing trades, guys. Yeah, that I would say anyone can pick support and resistance level, get trade ideas, but managing a trade is the most important thing in trading. Yeah, I talk about it a little bit in my VIP Discord. I talk about it a lot in my mentorship program. But managing trades, that is the holy grail. Um, all right, guys. So, yeah, that was just an example of managing a trade and maximizing profits. But that's what I'm looking for. And then we could leave it to run down to here. And I've put this target in because it's just this last low. This will be a daily low. All right, guys, US dollar, Swiss franc short. We're also looking to short that. The last one is gold. Yeah, I know um, Eric on our Discord channel. He loves a bit of gold. You are gold. Sorry. Um, and guys, yeah, if you're enjoying this analysis, come join us. Subscribe to the jam channel. Join the Discord channel. We'd love to have you. What I want to show you with gold, what I keep showing everyone with gold is the weekly chart. Yeah, this gray zone through here, yeah, has proven even here and now here has proven to be a very good level. All right. So if I zoom in now, I like this trade because we have it right. First of all, we've got a good gray zone. Check. Yeah, check. Tick the box. We've also got a dynamic support area, the moving average 20 tick yeah we've got a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern tick we are in an uptrend tick yeah what is not to like yeah i've ticked all the boxes i need and we've got room to move into yeah tick yeah this is what i'm looking for guys it's as simple as that yeah, spotting these trades. However, it hasn't been behaving itself so far. All right. But, you know, I'm still, remember, this is the weekly chart. We've still got two more days. So it's going to be really interesting to see what it does in here. If we drop down to the day chart now. Yeah, this. So, I mean, this. if we looked at these candles, yeah, if you said, let's zoom in again. 
So if we looked at these candles, yeah, this negative candle followed by this doji, and I'm thinking of buying it, you would say, Tom, you are a maniac. Yeah, but I am. Yeah, what, what I want to see, guys, is just price to react in here somewhere. Yeah, that's what I want to see, just price to react in here. So obviously the daily candles what what i do like is we've had this very large bearish candle followed by a doji yes yeah, so the sellers have slowed down remember we're looking for buys so sellers have slowed down this is a good sign but what i'm basically looking for guys if we go down to the h1 chart yeah all, all i'm looking for is a build up in structure yeah i thought we had it perhaps had it yesterday yeah, we sort of got this that come back up. But now, you know, we, we, this is this candle has broken these lows. So H1 structure is in a downtrend. So price could come a little bit lower. So it doesn't matter how low it comes or if it starts, you know, building H1 structure now. Yeah, it could do this, right? It's a price where it is now. It could start doing this. Yeah, I'm in. As soon as we get a break of these highs, I am in on in on the retrace. Yeah, I'm all over this. Take it higher. Okay. Or price could follow this downward trend. Yeah, it could do this. But again, just waiting for a build up of buyers. And then we get a break of structure. And then we buy it. All right, guys. So it's just in a very interesting zone all i'm looking for is a h1 structure build up an uptrend okay guys so yeah those are the trade ideas for today um if you've enjoyed them come join us join the channel join the discord smash buttons that says like um let's take a look at the news now <laughs> So news for Thursday, the 9th of March, guys. So, yeah, it's a pretty light news day. Nothing overnight, really. The only real piece of news we're interested in is this. At 1.30, London GMT, coming out of the US, we've got initial jobless claims. And that is the only three-star rating today. All right, so that could move any US dollar pair. Yeah, if we carry on down, guys, as you can see, nothing else. All right, so you are free to trade today. Um, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the vid. If you have, please subscribe, like, and share. Have a wonderful trading day, and I'll see you tomorrow.